Welcome to Mrs. Peach Thrifty Living. I'm so happy you're here today. I have another recipe for you. This is hashtag budget meals under five dollars. This is hosted by our friend Brenda at Maniac Grammy's Homestead. In fact, the recipe that I have today I got from a cookbook I got when I lived there from Maine and somehow I got rid of the book but I wrote on it that it was from Maine and it's from Franklin, Maine. Brenda, do you know where that is? And this is a tomato casserole. So I'm sticking with my veggies a little bit here. It looks so simple and actually delicious. So somewhere along the line I must have made it at least once. I'm going to double it because I love leftovers. I know it's just me, but it's okay. I can always freeze some of it, I think. So what it calls for, it calls for two cups of tomatoes. And it said whole, whole canned tomatoes. Well, this is not quite whole, and it has basil and garlic in it. So I'm going to put it in here. These are in pieces, and I thought that'd be easier to eat anyway. I already sprayed my baking dish that I've been showing you all my casseroles in. What it said to do, and I'm not going to do it quite like that. I'm going to reserve the crumbs, two, two tablespoons of crumbs and grated cheese for the top. Mix, combine all the ingredients in the order given. All in the bowl. Top it with my, my crackers and my cheese. I'm double on this, so I went ahead and took two eggs. I'm just going to kind of beat these up a little bit and put it in, in here. It's two tablespoons of minced onions. I'm going to take this lid off. I just put some. Would you say that's a tablespoon close to? And this is going to be another tablespoon. And that's going to be it on that. Now, it calls for salt and pepper. I think I'll leave the salt out, but I will put pepper. But I decided to put a little garlic in it. It did not call for that. So I'm always changing my recipes up a little bit. And one more, one more thing I've decided to put in that it didn't call for. I always think tomatoes go good with basil. So I'm putting in some basil. And I'm doing the same thing with that. I'm going to put in a good little serving. If you have fresh, that'd be awesome my pepper. Okay, and I'm just going to mix this up. And really, okay. And then it called for four tablespoons of butter. Well, you know me, I always put my fats on a diet here in my food. So I have about four tablespoons for the double batch. And I'm just going to pour it in. I don't know if that's necessary if you're really watching your fat. You could probably leave it out and it probably wouldn't make a bit of difference or very little. It calls for the, a half a cup of crackers for dough. I'm going to just use all the rest of this sleeve and I'm going to think and hope it's close to the right amount. A little baggie here, you can do it all kinds of ways. in here and save the rest of them for the top and let's see I'm gonna put the cheese on the top so that's it you guys I'm gonna put this in and bake it it says to bake it at 350 for an hour so I'm not sure it will take an hour so I will check this in about 45 minutes I'm glad I doubled it. Look, that's that's a nice, nice amount. And I guess the egg will thicken it up. And let's see, do I want to put the, I'll put the cheese, this on first, I guess. I always like the crumb tops of just about any of the recipes. Okay. 
you can do it much nicer this than this and you could spread it out nicer okay here's my cheese and this time I grated it I uh, decided to do that before I got started here just uh, sprinkle it all over the top remember you can use as much of this as you want or as little I'm gonna have a salad to go with this and so I know it's gonna be good and that called for a cup of grated cheese and I might be less on that but I really intend you know what I think I'll do I'll reach in there and get a little bit of uh, Parmesan powdered kind that's real and do put a little bit of that on it you don't have to be so chintzy on that it's not just because I'm trying to save money although I do like to save money but it saves calories too and this is the Parmesan that's it's the first ingredient is Parmesan so let's put a little bit of that on it too okay this is going in the oven and I will be back to show you how it is and give you a taste test I just now took this out of the oven and look at it I sprinkled some parsley on top just for fun make it look a little cuter and I baked it 45 minutes and then I let the oven off and left it another five minutes. I stuck my knife right in there. And it looks like it's coming out clean. So I'm going to be digging into this. Stay tuned. Okay, you see I'm doing two videos kind of side by side. The rest of this, and I just showed you. And I don't know, you might see it first or you might see it second. But I'm going to have a piece of this. I don't know if they come out in a square or not. Now, usually I have my tripod set up, but for this, I do not. <laughs> so we'll see how it comes out. I'll turn the camera to me. Wow, hey, that's not bad. I'm going to sit down. This is a really budget-friendly meal. I showed you my, my salad. It was $3 for a bag of it. I got two bags, so $5.99 for both of them. And then this, I used the big can of tomatoes, two eggs, a cup of cheese, and some crackers, and some spices. So here, I'm going to try this, and I hope it's going to be done enough. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's hot. See the steam going? Mm -hmm. that's a good flavor I can taste the basil if you like tomatoes you would like this I just want to tell you if you want to put meat in this you could put whatever kind of meat you want it didn't call for meat and you know I don't eat meat but any of these meals that I show you you can put in some kind of meat. Um, most of them you might want it already done. You'd have to adjust your cooking time if it went in raw. And boy, that's good. One more bite. I'll look forward to seeing you then. I pray God just blesses you today. You'll enjoy your special day. Every day is special. And God bless you. Oh yeah. Please subscribe, like, and comment. And see you tomorrow. Be sure and check and see what everyone else posts for budget meals under five dollars. Tomorrow is hashtag new to me. Come on back and I look forward to seeing you.